Hello everyone, welcome to Jimra. Another wonderful day here at Jimra. Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of everything as always. We're gonna do a little bit of back, chest, arms, legs, abs, everything in between. This exercise is geared toward the intermediate advanced, but as always, you can scale it down a little bit to make it fit your suitable um, level, okay? As always, let's stretch it out first, okay? Always be active. Give me a stand here and just reach because I need all of this right here to stretch and relax. This is an active stretch. We wanna be nice and loose. We wanna get the body and mind to connect and start to go toward the exercise mode. And I hope you've had some water before this and some food about half an hour to an hour based on your preference, okay? That should be good for there. And stretch out your legs a little bit because we are gonna do some legs as well. A little bit front, a little bit back. You wanna get your hip flexors, quads, so as they're stretched out, and of course your knee. Turn to the side here, hands on your knees. When you practice squatting down a little bit, feel that stretch right there in your knee and then the butt. And then from there, extend up. So now you feel your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, and the lower back. Just a little bit, reach to the side, back to the center. Other side, back to center again. Come up from there, good. Remember, stretching out, you should feel good. Should never overstretch because you can strain something and that's not good. All right, little jumping around, get the heart rate going. A little to the side, a little back, a little rocky going, a little forward, a little back. Breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. All right. So remember, variety is the spice of life. We're gonna work on the lats right now with the bench and the dumbbells. And you're like, how are you gonna do that? Well, very simple. Grab a set of weights that's comfortable for you. You can either do it off the ground, bend down, and roll that way. So you're working on your lats. This is, would be an inverted pull. For those of you who can go even further, get on the bench, make sure you're stable, make sure you're in total control all the time. Bend a little bit, reach down past, and then from there, pull your elbows up toward the sky. I feel it in my lats already. And because I have to stabilize a lot more with my legs, I feel a little stretch in the back of my legs my hamstrings. Let's try to go for 15 reps, and good job. Very steady, careful. Good. Whew, that was good. Rest up a little bit. We go from the back right to the chest. I wanna challenge you a little bit today by doing one arm push up, but we'll do it off the bench, okay? Spread your legs, total control, body's nice and tall. Hands here, if you need help, you can do this, lower, then push it up, or do it yourself. So three, so you can help out, four, five, or man up, tense it up, push it up. Always wanna breathe out on the way up, that's 10. Let's switch sides. Strong base open, nice and tall. Don't push your butt up. Push it down, drop it, push. Two, if you need help, a little bit on the other arm. If you don't, push strong. Excellent. All right, let's rest the arms a little bit. Let's go to the lower part. I want you to do a one leg deadlift, but we'll modify it a little bit. Keeping this leg straight lock on the toes in the back. One, ooh, I really feel in this leg. The other leg helping me to stabilize 
while all the work is done on this leg. You're feeling your quads, your hamstrings. Breathe out on the way up. Let's shoot for 10 reps each side. I'm going slow, yet in control. Never go too fast, or you lose your balance. And always breathe out on the way up. Wow, that leg is burnt. All right, switch legs on your toes, nice and tall on the chest. One. Two, that is tough. Three. Always grab a pair of weights that you're comfortable with doing. Breathe. Focus on that leg. Breathe. Now, if this weight is too much, you can let go of one and just grab the outside of the other one. Throw it down. Ooh. Good control. And ooh. excellent. All right, let's rest those hammies. Let's hit some biceps. Now, instead of just doing it standing or sitting, to vary it, you can do a set of kneeling curls on the bench, or you can do it on the ground. The advantage of doing it up here is that balance plays such a big role. And because you can't go fast and sloppy, because if you do, you'll fall. What happens is it makes you focus on your biceps much more. So when you curl, you really have to focus on them. Let's try to go for 15 reps. And breathe out on the way up. Keep your posture perfect. Let's go two more. One more. Excellent job. All right. From the bites, we're gonna transition to the triceps and we're adding little abs with it. So lie down so that your head is on the edge of the bench, legs straight up. We're gonna go with an overhead extension up into a crunch. Watch your head, go slow, two. All the way down, up, three. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, four. You can transition right away into a crunch. Or pause and then crunch. All the while, try to keep your legs locked and straight. Now remember the key, you gotta focus on your triceps. Keep them tense and focus. Go slow so that you have perfect balance on the bench. Let's go one more. Come up slow, keep your balance. Well done. Well, let's do it again. So remember, you can do it on the ground or you can come up. You can bend your knees a little bit, just to get your whole body down as low as you can. Hold that position and pull upward. Hit your lats. I want to go for 15 reps. Perfect control. Breathe. Breathe. Whew. Great job, come down slow. Put the weights off to the side. Rest the back, hit the front. One arm chest press. 10 reps. Started with my left last time, I'm gonna keep it on my left. Hands on the side. Remember, if you need help, hands come down at the last second. Help a push up a little bit. Ooh, that was hard for me. All right, switch side, here we go. 
Nice and tall. Clamp your other hand right by your leg. Breathe. Well done. All right, that's the two. Rest the upper body. Hit the hamstrings. Left leg back first. Find the position where it's comfortable. 10 reps. All the way down. One. Two. Come up nice and tall. Halfway there, guys. Come on. I know it works. Work it hard. Burn it out real good. Arms are tired. Legs tired. Oh yeah. Oh, shake it off for a second. Catch your breath. Switch legs. Deep breath. Let's go again. Up, open up. One. Two. Three. Remember, if it's heavy, let go of one and just grab one dumbbell only. until you do this routine so many times that you get so strong that you can add on more weight. Let's go one more. And, booyah. yeah. All right, let's rest that up. Come over to the side. Kneeling bicep curls. If you need a little bit more rest, please take it. Pause this tape. If not, challenge your body. Challenge the endurance and push and go strong. Perfect posture. Curl. Breathe out. You sweating with me? I hope so. This is brutal, but it's so good. Comfort of your home or at the gym, you have all access from Jimra to give you so many different varieties of exercises. Well done. And again, let's finish it up with some abs and triceps. Find your position on the bench. Lock those legs, come down. Up, one, or two, three. Breathe out when you come up. Like here, and there, or Focus on your form. One. Uh, woo. Good job, that was the two. We're gonna do another two. Take a quick break if you need to, drink a little water, and then get right back to it. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do shoulder press, but we're gonna do the inverted style. So make sure the dumbbell is strong. If not, you can do it off the ground without the dumbbell. You wanna angle your body straight down to it, and then do like a shoulder press. One, two. Make sure you have total control. Breathe down the way up. Your arms should not move at all. Good 
Last one. Well done. If that's a little bit too hard, what happens is you can have your feet on the ground so that you're not so high up off the ground. Whew, good one. All right, next one, transition. If you have a bench that's able to go all the way back, so you have a 90 degrees, do so. If not, just give me a squat. But if you have it, do a Roman chair. When you sit down about 90 degrees without the butt touching the bench, And then while you're burning the legs, you're burning your arms. Steady form. I'm gonna go for 15 reps. Breathe. Then you can sit down. Excellent job. So now let's rest the upper body, shoulders and biceps. Put the bench back down to flat. We're gonna go back to the, the hamstrings and butt. Do another set of deadlifts. This time, let's get the stretch on the inside. Hands are here. By changing up the angle, you recruit the muscles differently. And that's what you want. You want the muscles to be strong in each and every facet, not just one direction. Let's go two more. And wow, good job. All right, switch sides. So leg out to the side, nice and tall. And breathe, one, two. Tense up your arms as well. Because as much as you're working on your hamstrings and glutes, your arms, your forearms, it's getting a lot of work. Whew. Good one. Breathe on the way up. Let's go two more. Oh, I feel it in this leg. Because even though it's resting, it was working. Nicely done. Shake it off for a second. We're gonna take one side only. We're gonna do a set of butterfly abs. And then we're gonna try to move it in the middle. So, come up. One. Two, three. That hold right here works your abs a lot. Four, five, six, seven. And the weight, it wants to make you fall to the side. So your core has to stabilize much more to hold it. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, four more. Come on. Push. Nineteen. Last one. Okay. Catch your breath real quick. A little bit more water if you need to. We got one more round of that to do. Okay. Let's do. Remember, first one's a shoulder press. So if you need a little help, just do it off the floor. Okay, you don't have to go up high. So just be right here and just go down, angle up, but up high. One, two, three, four, five. The reason why we're on the weight is because when you go down, if your hand's on the ground, you hit the ground much sooner. But if you have the weight, you can go an extra two or three inches down, right? So that helps. But like I said, you can absolutely do it on the ground and it will still be hard enough. Let's go two more. 
Let's go one. Pause and bam. Whew. Wow, even with that, that was challenging on the second time around. All right, let's move the bench. And remember, if you don't have the bench, just give me a sumo squat. And just curl it like so, okay? You can absolutely do that, too. Here we go. Three. Try to keep your legs still. Butt is off the ground. Focus on your biceps. Squeeze. It's gonna cry. Let it. Push it. Let's go two more. Ooh. Good Lord. All right. Shake off the upper body. We got hamstrings, glute, lower back. All the good stuff. Remember, if two is a little too heavy, just leave one down. Grab with the opposite hand, fine. Or grab with two. Focus on your hamstrings. Go slow and deliberate. Most of the weight should be in your right leg here, not your left. Left is just trying to balance you a little bit more and at the same time throw you off. All right, one more. And pull, ooh, felt the back there. And this guy over here is hurting too. All right, so let's go side, lock it out. Now when you do a deadlift, try to keep this nice and tall but if you round off a little bit, that's fine. You're still getting a lot of hamstrings and glutes. Breathe out on the way up. Go down to your range of motion, okay? If you're too tight, the right about here is good, then that's good. If you can go lower, then of course go to your range of motion. Breathe out on the way up. And you find that as you get tired, going down only a little bit might be enough. Well done. All right, time to bring this bad boy home. We got butterfly with a passing through. Satellite, we'll call it. All right, here we go. Go strong. But keep your balance. It's gotta be perfect. Pass. If it takes too long to pass, you just gotta pay the price. Almost there, guys. Really suck it up. Burn it out. One more each side. Last one. Homebound, homebound. Yeah, oh my goodness, well done. So that was some new routine for you, the floor, the dumbbell, and the bench. And as always at the end, whew, you have to recover and cool down. So deep breaths, okay? Breathe. Breathe, reach up. Hands behind your back. Open up your chest and shoulders. Lean back a little bit. If you're not sweating, I think somebody took a little too much break. Push the hip first, reach across again. Get all of your lats, rear delt, obliques. Little IT band, stretch. Control your breathing. The fastest way to recover is take deep, slow breaths in through your nose and calmly out through your mouth. Turn to the side, keep your legs locked so we stretch out the hamstrings and glutes that you work so hard on. 
and then turn to your right. Stretch more on the right leg. Back to the center, just nice and steady. There's no rush here. And again, stretching should always feel good. If you're in pain when you're stretching, you're doing too much. Bend your knees down, squat as low as you can. Then from there, squat up, keep your knees bent, round down again. By keeping your knees bent, you're stretching out your lower back now, which you work really hard on. Relax your shoulders and head. When you come up, come up slow. Hands on your knees, come up one vertebra at a time, so your head doesn't get lightheaded, and you pass out. Okay, almost done. Let's move the knee up, back and forth, just a few times, so you get that stretch in the knee and the glutes. Now let's get the front. Push it back, push it again, and let's get the shoulders. Did a lot of shoulders today. And a little jump in. Whew. Well done, everybody. Remember, come back again. I will give you so much more. Press the like button if you can, and ask me what you wanna see. You want more bench, more weight, BOSU, kettlebell, bands, just me alone with no weight, I will be happy to oblige. Thank you again from Jimra. Have a great day, and please come back soon again.